I'm Caleb with Means Wood Shop, and today we're gonna make a bunch of old classic pig games. I think you can also call them pub games. Some of these might look familiar if you've been to any of those restaurants that got these games out on the table, but uh, let's, let's check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and glue up these boards for the larger peg game. And I think I gotta go to the store anyways to get more dowels, because I don't think I have enough dowels in the shop to make all these games. For these two smaller games, I'm just taking a board and ripping it down to three inches wide. I'm just using the board as is for length, which is about nine and a half inches long. And for this other game, I'm ripping this board to three and a half inches long. I've got all my pieces prepared and I'm ready to apply my templates to some of these. For all my templates, I was able to find these um, just on Google Images. These two, I'm using the same template, but on one of these, I just won't be drilling this top hole. And on the rest of them, I just marked out the locations of where I'm going to drill the holes. Best thing you could use is spray adhesive. And I want all the center holes on this triangle to line up. I'm starting with these games first that I had to draw the locations of the holes on because I'm using a smaller bit because I'm going to be using a smaller size pig. So I need to cut my triangle to shape. I've got some wedges that I cut that I'm going to use to hold it in place. Now I can start drilling out the bigger holes for these games. The hole's cut, I think all that's in store is a little bit of sanding. I printed out some words for them. Well, it was label paper, and this is the waxy side. And you print them out in reverse so you could do an image transfer. It's pretty easy. I'll figure out where I want this to go, put it down there, and I just use my fingernail, burnish it in place. And it's dry pretty much instantly. These three are going to get a lacquer finish. I'm going to finish these ones with some teak oil. It's a dramatic color change.
Now I'm cutting pegs for the game. And this is the interesting thing about poplars. This one is almost black. It's like dark purple. This is probably what you would see on a normal poplar board. <laughs> All the games are complete. Ever since I made that tic-tac-toe game, I had a small obsession with making wooden games. They're really cool. I like the big triangle. But if you liked and enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe to Means Woodshop because I have brand new woodworking videos every Friday. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Some kids rolling by on bikes. I saw one of them looking in here like, oh, that guy's just talking to himself.